Hey, 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 Aries. This is your sacred scribe here ready to do your Tuesday, February 15th to the 16th intuitive love tarot read. This is for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully you guys can get something out of it today. I hope you guys had a beautiful and loving and sweet Valentine's Day. Uh, what else? got to finish my spiel here. If you're interested in a private reading, info is down in the description box below. Please don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates with you. I want to hear from you and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, Aries, let's get to it. Let's see what your overall energy is. Very interesting readings tonight. And look at you. You come out a lot. The Emperor. Dun, dun, dun. I always like to announce you, Aries. All right. So what's on your mind? What's on Aries' mind? I always think of the, the, the dude, you know, one of those dudes with the horn. Like announcing the king. All right. What's on your mind is the three of wands. Aries, what's coming towards you? I'm going to get a channeled message in just one moment. So, una momente on that one. The Ten of Wands. And what's your response to what's coming towards you here? The Six of Cups. Oh, wait a minute. And what is your advice? The Eight of Wands. Ooh, Aries. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Devil. All right, so let's see what spirit has to say for you today, Aries. <laughs> Pleasant circumstances, Aries, will be coming into your field. So be aware when you're out and about. These will happen unexpectedly and make you smile. Ah, ride the wave, Aries. The momentum that you feel when you're feeling passionate about something and time flies, ride that wave. Go with that flow and take it as far as you can, as far as the wave goes. Appreciate the experience along the way. And when you finish, wait for another wave. Find another wave. Look for another wave. Feel the ocean for the wave coming. Okay, thank you. Mm, interesting. When they were saying, feel the ocean for the wave coming, they were showing me somebody in the water because they show me images as they um, say this and they give me the feelings when they're speaking them. So I always find this interesting. So when I was seeing somebody in the water, they were sort of closing their eyes, feeling for, oh, I know a wave is coming, sort of using their intuition or they know which direction it's coming from sort of thing. So use your intuition, Aries, when it comes to, you know, after you ride the wave till the end, you know, utilize your intuition for the next wave. Which direction should you be headed in, right? Be the emperor, Aries. So overall energy, I love it, is your energy. So you are being you, which is goddamn beautiful. So let's see what up for Aries. What is clarifying the emperor? Can you tell me more? For Aries and the Emperor. Oh. Okay, so we have the Four of Pentacles. 
we have the Eight of Cups, we have the King of Wands, and we have the Death card. Wow. Some of you Aries are finally letting something go. Something that you perhaps were hanging on to. And you're realizing now, it's almost like an awakening to, why am I hanging on to this? This has sort of been holding me back. That's the feeling that I'm getting. So it's through this realization that you're going to have this transformation and you're going to like come out swinging, so to speak, with this King of Wands. The King of Wands is very handsome or beautiful and very it, 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 a great manifester. This is who you want to talk to about manifesting, man. Yeah, very much so. The King of Wands. The King of Wands is about action, just like the Emperor, right? But also about having fun within that action and knowing what's going to manifest because the King of Wands is magical and uses his or her intuition, right? Love the King of Wands. It's the life of the party, right? Somebody who loves to be the life of the party is very funny, entertaining, right? Okay, so what's on your mind is the three of wands. So you may be um, being patient, waiting for something, possibly Aries. Let's see. Something could be at a distance or someone. It's like you know something's coming. Interesting that it's the three of wands and they were talking about the waves because it's the ocean, right? Clarify this. Okay, can I have one more? Okay, so we have the Eight of Swords, the Chariot, and the Two of Pentacles. Now, the Two of Pentacles in this deck for me is a Twin Flame card. I know, strange but true. I always find it fascinating when I get a new deck and the different cards give me different vibes, right? So anyway, you're all up in your head about something. It's almost like you're in disbelief. You go back and forth. This is this, the Two of Pentacles disbelief about whether or not your ships are coming in now this could be in relation to love this could be in relation to business this can be just about anything see this is that back and forth energy you may have some air in your chart but mercury is retrograde right so you could be internalizing this so with the chariot this talks about distance as well are you waiting for somebody and you're not sure if they're coming? Uh, you, uh, at, you know, on one hand, you feel victorious. You feel like, yes, this I'm, I'm going to cross the finish line. The divine's going to pull me. You're allowing the divine to pull you in a direction. And then all of a sudden it halts, I feel, and it you stop. It's like, nope, I don't know, bathroom break. <laughs> we got to stop. And when you stop, you're all up in your head. Well, wait a minute. What if this doesn't work out? What if this? What if this? What if, what if scenario, right? I like that you're still moving forward because there is movement, right? So you're not allowing you to keep this stuck. At least not what I'm seeing here, okay? And this is what this two of pentacles is, I feel. This back and forth with this energy. Let me get an advice card on this. That's your advice card. Now look, this is your overall energy, right? The masculine portion of you. So balance this out. This is the two of pentacles as well. I love it. Balance it out with the feminine aspect. The feminine aspect listens to their intuition. And that is exactly why I told you that then. That's why that stood out. Because of that wave thing. You need to listen to your intuition, right? Take action in that direction. Don't look back. Be the emperor. The emperor goes forward. Doesn't look back. Doesn't matter how fast you go. But don't forget about the intuitive aspect, the creative aspect, the nurturing aspect, the sexual aspect. And if you don't, if you're not sexual, then creative. It's the same energy. It is sacral energy. It's from the sacral uh, chakra. Okay. Utilize that sexual energy for creativity. You will be amazed at what you can produce really okay so what's coming at you aries is work oh surprise surprise right so let's see a little bit more about this ten of wands the magician 
See, you can manifest. Wow. Holy schmoly. You got the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy, Taurus energy, really, and Two of Wands. So you're working on something. You may need to make a choice. Again, back to this Two of Pentacles. There is some choice you're making. I feel it may be in business. It could be in love, but I'm feeling business here because the King of Pentacles is all about business, is all about stability here. You want to manifest something. Maybe you're not sure, should I, man if I go down this road, will it manifest? If I go down this road, use your intuition. That's your sweet spot. That's your mm, secret weapon, if you will. Look at it that way that's your superpower all right so the six of cups is your response which i love this is sweet innocent energy right okay oops so we have the ace of swords this is be careful about getting stuck in the past the six of cups could mean that but this is talking about sweet, innocent love, right? It could be a past life soulmate, could be somebody from the past, from childhood, but it doesn't have to be. It's just representing a very sweet, innocent feeling, right? Could be a love for anything. Could be friendship. It could be family. It could be just a feeling. So we have the Three of Pentacles and we have the Knight of Swords, which is intuition, and the World card, right? So let's see here. Yeah, this is this clarity and truth that you're seeking in work, something that you're building. For some of you, you are seeking clarity about a relationship, but know that this, you can manifest it. You can manifest whatever you want. I'm feeling a lot of power behind your intuition and your action. You're ending a cycle here and beginning a new one. For all of you, it's going to be something different. But something needs to be communicated here. Either if it involves work, then communication with some sort of collaboration that you're doing. If it involves romance, then communication, obviously, with the other here, Aries. Okay, but know that you can manifest whatever it is that you want. So the eight of wands here, this is your advice. This is talking about passionate messages from afar, but this can also be talking about something creative that you're acting on. And it's swiftly, it's very quick action. Six of pentacles, there's that balancing, that juggling seven of pentacles perhaps aries if this is work there's a lot of elements involved in this if it's a project if it's some whatever you're trying to manifest i feel like if it's work there's a lot of elements involved and that's what you're worried about juggling all the elements um the seven of pentacles here interesting did you give me that for a reason okay Okay, when I see multiple sevens, and I don't see multiple sevens here, but I looked at the seven of pentacles and had that feeling, but it was purposeful because it's true. And this is why I gave you the listen to your intuition in the beginning. You have a connection to spirit, to the divine. Okay, so as far as planting seeds, as far as being patient and waiting for them to grow, you have to listen to your intuition. Okay. It doesn't matter how fast you go. This is your advice. You need to focus on balancing the body, mind, and spirit, being patient and planting your seeds, okay? It doesn't matter how many elements you feel um, that you cannot juggle, okay? Simplify if you need to. Three of Cups. See, that's celebration. That's also reunion. Some of you could be reuniting. The Six of Cups can also be reunion as well. So there could be communication from somebody from the past. A lot of uh, February is Mercury retrograde. So be aware of that. All righty. Let's see what animal totem will serve you best. Ooh, I love this animal, the snow leopard. It's so freaking beautiful. 
take some time out of your usual life and spend it in solitude. Mm, Aries, take some time out. I feel like this is really going to enhance your intuition. I don't care if it's a day, a weekend. I would rather it be like a weekend, like a, a three-day weekend where you're just self-care, meditating, connecting with spirit, connecting with nature. I feel like it's really going to expand your consciousness if you can do this, okay? If not, try to take time each day in solitude to connect back to the self, okay, Aries? All right, Aries, I hope this resonated. I hope it made sense. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Info's down in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys. And hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fantastic day and I will catch you guys on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.